Hello, I'm Jake Tapper in Washington, where the State of Our Union is praying for Sri Lanka. We have a lot of politics to get to this morning, including an interview with President Trump's attorney, Rudy Giuliani. But I want to begin with the horrific breaking news out of Sri Lanka, an island nation off the southern coast of India. There are at least 200 people who have been killed, 450 more injured this morning after eight coordinated bombings across the country on this Easter Sunday. The explosions occurred at churches as worshipers attended Easter Mass. There were also bombings at three hotels popular with foreign tourists, and there are close to 30 foreigners among the dead, according to Sri Lankan officials who said there have been arrests made this morning regarding the bombings. President Trump responded to the attacks this morning in a tweet offering his condolences about the terrorist attacks and saying we stand uh, ready to help. Uh, I want to go now to CNN International Diplomatic Editor Nick Robertson, who joins me with more. And Nick, what, what's the very latest? Uh, Jake, it's still not clear who was behind the bombing. Very clear this was coordinated, that it was well planned, uh, that these uh, people were intending to send a very clear message on this one of the most holy days in the Christian calendar, Easter, that they were attacking Christians, not just people in hotels who might have been foreigners, but very clearly intent on attacking Christians. And it comes uh, at a terrible week for the church, who've had the burning down of, uh, or the partial burning down of the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. You have that arson attack on St. Patrick's cathedral in New York just two weeks ago um, and a church burnt down in Louisiana. You have the ongoing um, a scandal within the Catholic Church about abuse that continues to rumble on. And here in Northern Ireland, just ahead of the uh, Easter Republican parades commemorating the Irish uh, overthrowing uh, British rule in Ireland, uh, police raids here in this city of Derry led to riots, pet uh, youths throwing petrol bombs at police vehicles and a group called the New IRA that the police are branding a new type of terrorist, a new brand, a new breed of terrorists, stepped out, fired shots, and killed a local aspiring journalist. This is a tough time for Christians and a tough time this week for the church. Jake? Is there any, is there any information? I know we're, the death toll uh, in Sri Lanka keeps, uh, keeps rising. Is there inf any information? I know no identification of who might be responsible. But is there any information about the seven individuals who we're told have been arrested? So far not. Uh, what we do know is during one of the raids for arrests uh, that the police, the special forces team, were seen to be targeted by a suicide bombing or, or a bomb that was left attached to a tripwire or something as they went into one of the premises that they were searching. So clearly this group uh, knew that the police were going to come after and the police had a pretty clear idea where they were, but precisely from the government who these people are. This is not a typical type of attack by the Tamil separatists who ended their 25-year civil war with the government there 10 years ago. This is not the type of attack they would perpetrate. Uh, uh, they were more of a secular type organization. It has the hallmarks of ISIS. ISIS was already crowing about it in its propaganda, as it always does. But there's no indication confirmed yet that this would be, uh, that this is ISIS. Obviously, concerns high. And we know the Sri Lankan government a few years ago warned about possible growth of small, very small uh, ISIS cells in their country.